your sisters are here, ready, open, and as fabulous as possible. These are your sweets, Makita and Melanie. And you're now listening to Girl. Girl, what? So, as we start every episode with the drink of the day, and our guests are going to introduce themselves and name their drink. I love it. Thank you. Um, well, this is exciting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we know we also do a little bit of our. Uh oh. People are calling. So um, first things first, we have our M M&M and M moment, right? Is that I'm so. I'm so. I'm like. <laughs> it's okay. I'm t- I don't know if I'm tired. I don't know what's going on. We've been very busy. Okay. Let me yeah. get this together. It's okay. It's, it's all right. It's, so it's Eminem. It's Eminem moment. Okay. Time. Okay. Eminem mm-hmm. moment. Eminem moment. Eminem moment. And I think I'm gonna let you go first. Did what? you go first last time? I think I went first last time. <laughs> oh, I don't really have a lot. Um, let's see. Really quickly. Um, Earth Day. It's Earth Day. It's today. And so um, I did the street cleanup, adopt the street with my chapter today. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Awesome. Um, And let's see. What else I have? I wrote down children's behavior reform. Mm. And the reason why I wrote that down is because you all know I'm a teacher. And last week and the week before, and probably the week before, Mm -hmm. I've, I've had it up to here. Yay. And you can't see me, but my hand, my hand is like above my head <laughs> with children's behavior. And I teach kindergarten. Woo, them babies. They don't listen. <laughs> they don't listen. You tell them to sit down, they don't sit down. You tell them you, they, you're going to call their mama or change their points on class dojo, they don't care. They don't cry. So if you follow me, you probably saw my post that if your child don't cry when the teacher said they're going to call you, it's a problem. Oh, ooh, goodness. There's a problem yeah. in this world. And we're not going to get into it, but that's why they shooting people. Amen. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You know, I see, like, with Zachary, who's three, my three-year-old nephew, like, I know that I am the happy auntie mm-hmm. and the, like, lavish him with everything. Mm-hmm. Auntie, so, you're the problem. The men- yeah, of course I'm the problem. I, I admit. Auntie. I don't know mm-hmm. how I don't know how to. I'm figuring it out. But they're so cute. When I get it. When they're okay, no, no. I think they're still they're, adorable. They're, they're adorable, I don't but like those them. personalities. Aww. Um, but uh, and so when I call mommy or when I call uncle, you know, I can see the fear in his face. Like he's like he straightens right up. So I can say for our purposes, you know, there is a balance in the house. But I, I totally understand. I want to be parents. I want to be parents. I want to be kids. I want to beat them all. That's what I want to do. Yeah, the, the but I can't. You know, the I know I can't. Be beat. I know I can't. But I'm just telling y'all. I'm just telling y'all. That's what I was dealing with last oh week. Oh, my goodness. And it, 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 and I got to deal with it tomorrow. I'm not going to beat nobody, child. But I'm just saying. We need to revisit behavior. We need, to, we need a behavior reform plan. Yes. Um, Just like we do with academics. We revisit the academic needs based on college college readiness every so often. We need the same thing with behavior. These kids are not the same. They're not the same. As a a former educator, I totally can um, concur with you. And then there's even the lack of support from administration when it comes to enforcing classroom management. So it's like you feel kind of like alone in trying to discipline these kids. They're out of order. Parents enable them. And it's like, but yet you're expected to play Jesus in so many mm-hmm. respects. They got a the, mm-hmm. the differentiation um, of instructions and mm-hmm. they have to meet these milestones. The kindergarten, they got to know like what, 50 sight words before they graduate? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is a lot. And it's a lot on the teachers. And we're mm-hmm. with the kids more than they are with their parents. Mm-hmm. So you look at it from that Listen, I'm just saying back in my day, they had paddling and it worked. Paddling and That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I mean... I'm, I'm not going to say anything else, but we need to revisit that situation. And I think a lot of this, 
um, shooting and stuff would yeah. stop. Um, but anyway, I digress. I'm going to speak on um, one more thing, Um, My decorating, my home, my home decor boutique mm. is online and ready. Yay. New inventory. Um, we customize, customize mugs. We have a girl what? A Wakanda mug edition. Yes. Again, um, follow me Instagram. You can follow me Mel Shin Shin Sheet Decor, um, Team Shin. Whatever you need, we so got I it. I need a Davi Speaks mug. Yeah, yes. let's do Davi it. That, all of that. So now, that. yeah, Makita's moment. Well, I'm not going to go too much into what I'm doing because it's a lot politically, uh-huh. as many of you guys already know. I have recently joined Sean Shaw's team for attorney general. So I'm the regional finance director for Sean Shaw. He's actually a state rep in the Tampa area. um, And it's really exciting. Uh, And we've just done our first round of South Florida meetings and visits. So that's pretty exciting. Um, What I want to do also is kind of combine some action with a lot with with a lot of what I'm doing as the finance director I'm imploring all of our people if you even have you know two dollars you know please visit Sean's site uh, it's www.sean s-e-a-n shaw s-h-a-w dot com uh, and support his race when he wins because we're putting it out there that's right he yes. will be the first black attorney general yes. for the state that's of Florida we need that right there. we do we need so that so it's su- super yeah, you know and, and the thing is is that you know we're South Florida bound and people don't really know that there are additional top cabinet seats of, uh, of the state that um you know, that's even more important than the governor's race. Yes, it is. Uh, the attorney mm-hmm. general have full autonomy over, you know, who to go after. Mm-hmm. You know, they will, and, and Sean has uh, committed to being the attorney for the people. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that, you know, and that, you know, if you guys visit his website, you will see all of his, um, you know, his positions on different things, and again, we're 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 building this grassroots, and I'm so excited to be a part of it. There was something else that I was going to add to that, but mainly that's what I, you know, that's you know pretty much what I'm doing. But I'm asking folks uh, to pay attention and support this race, and we know that there's you know there's midterm elections this year, which is going to be crucial as we um, you know plan to look into 2020. For the presidential elections, what happened in Alabama and Virginia and all over the U- U.S. is there is a blue wave. We're Democrats. We need that Most blue of us are, are we Democrats. Need an ocean. And so we yeah. want that to continue on in the state of Florida. And I am mm-hmm. really hoping to not only combine raising money, but also grassroots and getting back into these communities to know that there are minority women, minorities, and people that we need to get elected today. So that's what's going on in my end. So, as we said, every show from yes. here until November until... 6th, until whenever, y'all need to vote. Hello. Vote, 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 vote. There's a, uh, what did you say was coming in August? So there's the primary election that's in August. I want to say it's the... August 28th, and then the November general elections is November 6th. We need to be out there like we did we, for um, we Black have, Panther. We gotta be, <laughs> listen, <laughs> Lord Jesus. Right. We need to have <laughs> Black Panther premier party, I mean, yeah. premier parties for vote primary for the primaries. Yeah. I mean, seriously. We really, this we really serious. need people to get, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hello. This is serious. It's a serious, a serious, this is a serious matter. matter. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that is serious. So serious. Yeah. So, yeah. So, please pay attention. We're we're also amongst uh, different groups. I won't go into the group name for, you know, that purposes. I don't represent any of the organizations personally. But we're going to start also paying attention to constitutional amendments mm-hmm. and other things that we have to pay attention to on the ballot. Why? Because this, um, the primary especially, is going to be probably about 
10 to 20 pages of, mm-hmm. of amendments and things we need to pay attention to that we have to vote on. So as that information comes out and is yeah, disseminated, I, mm-hmm. I will, we are going to start gathering that information. We're going to organize groups and town halls and things to start talking. Maybe about, I should, we can have a show to talk about the thing. Absolutely. On the, absolutely. On the ballot. So you know, so that, of, yeah, that's, you know, that, that is really important. So we can kind of guide y'all uh-huh. as to, of which, course, you know, you take a little paper in there and you, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. How, how we, we do. do. Yeah. That, that's, that's how we do. do. That's mm-hmm. how, that's how we do, and that's what we are going to do. We are going to be ahead of this. And, and the other part to that, and I know I can get a little long winded, so I'll try not to. Is that the way that it's explained on how you know the way that it's going to be written yeah. in these uh, on these ballots on the ballot. is going to be extremely important, which is why we're going to be doing these town halls and educational setting. Um, settings to like show people and explain how it's going to be um, written and how you should vote because how it is on the primary, what they've done in the past is that they flip the, the, the wording. Oh yeah. oh yeah. And it, you're actually supposed to do the opposite, the opposite. during the general. Mm-hmm. So we're going to be, we're going to try to be very vig- vigilant. I'm going to attempt to invite some of our democratic, uh, you know, act, well not activists, but um, political operatives and people that are on the, on the know to the show so, so we can further ex- the, explain the items some on of there, that yeah. too. So I'm looking really forward to that. So, Hot Topics. Hot Topics. We're going to bring in our guest now. Ooh, um, ooh, ooh. First thing I had on Hot Topics, which I just found out today because I was talking to my cousin um, who lives in Nashville, Tennessee. He was like, yeah, it was a shooting at the Waffle House. I'm like, what? Not the Waffle House. At what mm-hmm. Waffle House? In Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, mm-hmm. no. Yeah, somebody went on a shooting spree at oh. the, about 3 in the morning. A 29-year-old, his name is Travis R- R- Ranking or something like that. And he's still on the loose. And he shot four people. Oh, my god. And apparently the Af- there was an a African-American male that was um, deemed the hero because he's the one that kind of stopped the shooting from continuing. Yeah. Yeah, so it's ugly. And he's on the loose in Nashville. And see, oh, wow. that that's a problem for me. Yeah, me like too. I said, you know, we're in a, a very sensitive time where, you know, these gun shootings, it seems like they're happening all the time and everywhere. Beat behind. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a problem when they were a kid, right? Beat behind. Behind and save a life. Yes, it will. It'll <laughs> save a life. Again, when you come from a mental health construct and you're talking about conduct disorders, those are the 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 the, the, the pop of the, the population that cannot be rehabilitated. Yeah. So those are like the antisocial, the sociopath, the mm-hmm. psychopath, and maybe their he could just be in that umbrella of people. Okay. Um, and spanking them ain't gonna do nothing. It may turn them on. I'm being honest, like, you know, but that is crazy. Yeah, you know? but when when they're young, it, yeah. it, it'll help if you don't let them do what they want to do. Yeah, and reinforce their behavior. Yeah, Turn. get them the therapy. Yeah, that help. Yes, and identify mm-hmm. it. I think early on, stop early on. letting them have cell phones. Mm-hmm. And watch YouTube. Take them all day. off I just, YouTube. I just got mm-hmm. Take mm-hmm. them off 16, Facebook. Take them off Instagram. YouTube is raising the generation. Yeah. Take them off. It is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You can't get yeah. a phone or nothing until you are 17, 18 years old. Yeah. He just got it. He's 16. Yes. That's, that's, well, I mean, yeah. They don't know how to receive this stuff. Mm-hmm. It's too, even the cartoons, the movie. I know I'm going off on a tangent. No, 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 but y'all don't understand what my life is like mm-hmm. with 21 kids every day. Yes, mm-hmm. I do. 26, mm-hmm. I had to rotate. Yeah. So, so you get it. Yeah. In the heart of Liberty City. Ooh. Yo, behind, down, Ooh. right now. God bless you. you bless you through three teachers. It's funny, my family like, you right. should teach. I said, the way my nerves set up, I can't do it. You should, oh, my God. No, no, no. And I'm they didn't look at you like. No, I'm great at classroom management, but I choose to use my energy yeah. another way. I'm good at it, too. Y'all. I'm bless you. I'm good at it, too. But these kids. But I have to go walk When I tell home. you not one tear, I'm going to call your mama. Not one tear drops. My Nothing. Child, boo-hoo cry. They look at you like. Yeah. Like, then I say, well, what? Do you get in trouble when I tell? No. Mm-mm. Oh wow! Oh wow! And then you can't talk to the adult. You can't oh, talk to the parents. Worse than the shift. I worked in a collegiate level, and I'm saying like, what happened to the shift? Like your parents. I'm like, who raised you? I was scared. I, I, told, the, I told the parents, who raised you? Because you could come to my generation. Because the way your your mentality worked, 
who are you? Like, Listen. I, how do you even frame your mindset like that? Like, There's no what? fear of authority. I was None. scared my mama would beat me till I was probably about 22, 23 years old. I was still scared to tell my mom something. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. For real. I would not tell her certain are things. Are you from South Florida? Originally, Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, Atlanta. Peace, check it out. But funny. certain things my mama just didn't know because I didn't want to hear anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a different area. Yeah. Yeah. My, my mom was yeah. not I playing no games. I boundaries, baby, boundaries. For real. I'm sorry, I got back to the kids. I, I need I need us to get that together because it's a lot. And we can only do it as a community, I think. We can't the do village. it alone. They, they, don't, they don't and they don't, the and they don't want they the don't village. Want to to the kid. They don't want to chest up. Ma'am, your child needs it. How about that? Oh. No, I was I worked in an environment where you had to get five positives before you could get a negative. I don't have five positives. So what do you want me to do? Oh, your wow. child is bad. That's the honest truth. This was in Atlanta, though. Oh my! All oh, the kids don't walk in lines. They that is too. They they they. Oh, you you at an elite private school though. Yeah, right. Right. don't like, walk in line. Yeah, our kids don't walk in lines because the, that is kids should institutional. Walk in they feel like they're institutionalized. institutionalized. Um, they had a they had a barber salon and everything. Like, nice. It was really posh in Sandy Springs. I came out all right. You came out all right. I sure did. Yeah, we we got I so. that was, we got and I still did. came out all right. Yes, I needed it. We should need to fear God. They don't. They don't. For nothing. Oh. Yeah, they don't feel there's no consequences for their actions. When I was growing up, everybody was at church when they got home. Mm. Well, you lived in the Bible Belt, too. Well, no, but even here, I went to Mount mm-hmm. Table Baptist Church oh, in yeah. the city. Yeah, they did. Church. Everybody was at church. I think we were that last group. Yeah, I think so. We were. Which means then we are doing our jobs. Now. Something ain't right. Because when people meet my kids, they, they see something totally different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, it's it's a paradigm shift. And you were talking, mm-hmm. what you made when you talked about the state of um, attorney general. Yes. That's a part, like, we're going to talk about that later. But trying to get the community back and, and ingraining in them the sense of community mm-hmm. and child rearing and taking accountability for academics yes. um, and, and especially um, voting is such uh, apathy is such at an all time high mm-hmm. amongst the young people mm-hmm. 35 through 18 let's say 40 to 18 depending on which ethnic enclave you're talking about right. and um, that's so much what we're on empowering and educating them and teaching them I think Creating it's amazing what you're doing yes. mm-hmm. um, it's Holistically uh-huh. and families, you know, um, to learn more, especially their voting power. Oh my god! And goodness. that they have a voice, especially in education, go mm-hmm. down to the region. You know, we all need to just kind of take our kids back, take our community back, take Wakanda. Back we even the teachers, Wakanda. like, and I'm how do you say Wakanda? Wakanda? Because no! educators back in the day with that, even be, what, what made the union so strong? The teachers joined together, they band together. Of course. I'll, what What is that unity about? Like, people just like, they don't even care. Give me my check, I'm going home. Teachers are tired. They it's take, the, yeah, they the, take the, so much power out of hand. Yeah, there's so much bureaucracy really that can. comes. You got the state, they come in, you got the district. And you Everybody got to be on the same page at the same time, at the, whatever, doing the same thing. If they walk from one classroom to the next classroom to the next classroom, you all have to be synced. Yeah, oh, the yeah. core. It's core now. Yeah. But then we have benchmarks. So the district would come say or something. Yeah. The sunshine standards, and this person would say something else, and this thing like every other week you were switching this word wall, this this that. No, we don't want that. You like mm-hmm. what y'all want me to do? Y'all trying to make our it's kids. all about the kid. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Need. Imagine that. So if you're going to that, what the kids are going, they need that structure. Yeah. So if you're constantly changing based upon the needs of the state, mm. the county, I work in Dade County, so me too. That's why I work. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, in other, we, we just kind of, we just kind of went but, with that. Subject. But I, I'm, let me just say this: like, I'm okay with the curriculum. Yeah. Let me just say that okay. it's the key. It's the parents and the, the kids. kids. Ooh, that's the parents and the kids. Can y'all help us out? You, and you know what? I mean, while we're still yeah, talking about that, what kids. happened to the PTAs? This I'm saying. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. I think yeah. And, yeah. And, and enforcing or Enforce enforcing what? or forcing parents to participate. Yeah. It depends on what school. Because like in Pinecrest, yeah. they have a 500 plus PTA. Yeah. Every teacher has a um, support staff. Yeah. I'm a yes. support um, teacher. Every child has a computer. Every child has supplemental of education for everything the teacher doesn't even have to wear it on paper. Well, we know that it's, oh, well, wow. we know it's different okay. depending on yes. your, you know, yeah. your economic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Yeah. But in mind, I, I had, had a single parent. I had to buy stuff. my kids their school supplies. My oh, principal yeah. expected me to buy all my kids school supplies to also get their stuff for oh, mental yeah. materials. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, also to make sure my, my my classroom library was sufficient and fully built. Mm-hmm. And I had kids in the fourth grade that was like, oh, oh teacher salary. salary. Yeah. And then them salaries are disrespectful. Yeah. All that. I'm sorry. I was a single yeah. mother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Taking care of a disabled person. So you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You got to love teeth. You have to yeah, love, love, love being a teacher to teach. I like I, I love kids. I love doing. I, I like therapy. I love it all. I just need y'all parents. to get to get it together. Help us out. Well, maybe we should okay. make. They should make a requirement. I think so. Like my my school, my daughter's private school. Like you have to be there so many hours to volunteer. volunteer. Yeah, I'm confident mm-hmm. to get the parents that. engaged. Mm-hmm. You, and, 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 it and, and it needs. And it, but I, what I'm saying is, I agree. Like there needs to be. Some kind of system to force these parents. Like you don't, you can't get the kids are not. This is not drop this. off. Right. This is not. You, the not reason, not teachers are not. Exactly. The, teachers is not I'm daycare. Not the but I, I'm right. saying that because yes. you know I don't want to put right. people on blast. But like yeah, young people believe that the school you, is a handoff mm-hmm. and pick up. When can I? When do I drop them off? And when do I pick them up? And they don't think about, you know, kind of, uh, you know, also re, what is it? Reinforcing. Reinforcing what the child I just learned need in the help day. Us, man. Just, just help us out. Yeah, but, That's you it. know, we, yes. I yes, want yes. oxygen. They ain't got no excuse. <laughs> No, so, that's right. I mean, no, that's right. Walker, I know that's right. I know that's right. And I'm out there. Sure am. And sometimes I be about to pass out. And yeah. the staff will come in and they'll help me get in and let me catch my breath. And I'm like, okay, what's going on with my daughter? That's right. Call me. Text me. Call me in the middle of the classroom. You can, you know what? FaceTime Two me. people. Y'all hear that? Y'all, y'all, yes. y'all can take her little behind in the closet and do what you need to do. Only no bruises on her. Like, we we can't do that. Like, no, 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 I know that. But she's in a private but, school. Oh. And there's, there's, there's people who work there that I know. Who mm-hmm. I personally know. So if y'all need to go jack Zahara up, go on here. Oh, mm-hmm. My son. Same thing with my private school. Very small. I know his administrator and all. So I'm educated. If y'all need to jack his butt up, jack his butt up. I'm I may need to find that I'm information for, for Zachary. Because <laughs> um, Listen, that's how I used to be, man. Young yeah. Ladies, it's awesome. Mm-hmm. So let me just say this, and then we can just we go into that, the yeah. subject. Because... We just, we're, we're going, we're this going. Is this is good. exciting. Yes, so, <laughs> uh, so uh, Barbara Bush, mm-hmm. our mm-hmm. former first lady yes. who is married to George H.W. Bush, H. W. Uh, passed away this past week at 92. Wow. And what I, and, and so of course it's a political angle, mm-hmm. but more importantly, you know, there, a lot of what they're talking about in reference to the, to Barbara Bush is, the love story. Yes. They were together for 73. Oh, oh so 72. I think it was, CNN. That's a long 73, time. husband of 73 years. So CNN didn't get it right. Oh my yes. God. So, Oof. but, you know, between right. eulogies yeah. and the, you know, Jeb, I, I, I heard, gave a really good mm-hmm. eulogy. Jesus. Presidential historian John Meacham. That it was a lot about the marriage mm-hmm. and, and her as the family's matriarch. So, that um, Barbara Bush's death marks the end of the longest presidential marriage in American history. Wow. Uh, followed only by Jimmy and Rosalind Carter, who's mm-hmm. been married for 71 years. Wow. John and Ab- Abigail Adams mm-hmm. married for 54 years. Wow. And, uh, and they, you know, and they held the, the record for much of American history. Wow. So, um, you know, I mean, it was amazing. But recently, also, the funeral was on Saturday and it was like the past like what five presidents I believe mm-hmm. and uh, uh, first lady well 45 the, wasn't there? No 45 was the only person that wasn't present uh, Melania I was, was there I was so you know I love 44 President Me too. Barack yes. You know Michelle. Yeah, Obama, you know, and Michelle was there. Like, yes, know, she Michelle. looks gorgeous. Yes. She looks absolutely gorgeous. Right now. I'm, 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 I'm a, I didn't see that. I'm still on that. I didn't see that. Um, Did but, he see that? Okay. In American culture. This um, this is his news. Did he tell any truths in the last two weeks? That's all. If he told the truth, let's talk about Listen, it. Listen, I'm not. I, no, I just want to know if it was I a truth. I couldn't tell you. Okay, then. Because yeah. I'm not, I have not. When I hear a truth out of that man's mouth, that's when we're going to talk he, about You it. know why I thought he should have been there? 
because it diverted from what's going on in, in, in Syria. Well, Melania so was there. there. So no, I'm just she, Yeah, she no. was Melania. there. Melania Trump was there. In, so I wish y'all could see other, WTO's face. In other news. It's oh, hilarious. But, no. Before you guys want to say, add to the love story. What I thought was phenomenal in her honoring her husband. Um, one thing they had said that somebody asked her, what is the biggest flaw of George uh, um, H.W. Bush? And she said, my husband doesn't have a flaw. My husband is like into a saint. And to speak like how she covered her husband. So if there was ever any wow. issue. Wow. Listen, she, she was said, the backbone of that family. Wasn't, he didn't have any flaws. And her family, um, you could see they call her the enforcer. You could see she was one that ran the shop. She was the matriarch. Yes. But even like, well, I'm, I'm big on strong women, mm-hmm. strong men, and how to co-create strong, powerful relationships and not have that power oh, dynamic mm-hmm. that's, um, 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 I was going to say, diabolical to the mm-hmm. relationship. So to hear how she covered her husband, you would never know. Yeah. He was perfect. You could in her eyes, he was a saint. And that was phenomenal. And yeah. that's the thing about like how, how she they honored each other love. Yeah, and she did. And, and and even her her push for literacy. And so I just thought that was just real phenomenal. How she loved her baby and said, they ain't got yeah. no flaws. But you said, I'm going to practice that. Look, 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 My look, man I'll, don't got no flaws. Yeah, right. I'm practice look, that. I'll, I'll <laughs> say this. From the podium, Jeb recalled another letter George wrote Barbara on their anniversary in 1994. Will you marry me, George wrote. Oops, I forgot. We did that 49 years ago. I was very happy on Aww. that day in 1945, but I'm even happier I'm today. Serious. You have given me joy that few men know. I have climbed perhaps the highest mountain in the world, wow. but even that cannot hold a candle to being Barbara's husband. Okay. You did yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All he had to do was read that when he was running. Let me tell you something. something. Yeah. It, 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 listen. You're in office, sir. Where, where, where we are, where we are in politics like today, like, your, yeah, what? where we are in politics today, I think we're all having like reconsiderations on the bushes, right? For real, yeah. Um, like, I won't go that far. I won't. I won't. Mm. Listen, I well, voted for Michael Dukakis when I was in in first grade. Well, yeah, we had the kids, the kids' choice. We didn't. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm just, no, what I'm saying is, yeah, the bushes had some stuff. Well, no, bush. they did have their. Yeah, yeah they definitely but had their they issues. Were, uh, what but, I like about Barbara Bush is kind of can join with the Kennedys. Yeah. How they they polished them for politics. Yeah. So Barbara Bush. Her, her son's wives, they piggyback off literacy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and they, what's the one who's married um, with, the two, with the two daughters? Because I saw her online. Oh, um, I can't think I can't think her name right now. George Bush is the, the son's yes. wife. All of them kind of hold that posture of Barbara Bush. Mm-hmm. You can feel her imprinting. Mm-hmm. She's the enforcer. Um, but there, there, there is there's no other this is what you have than to Barack say. Obama. Yes. And Michelle Obama. <laughs> like, they, to me, Broke the mold. What it is yeah. to be the first lady, uh, mm-hmm. first, the first the family. Period. Here he is. is like, and they oh. were perfect. Yeah, he, he's still yeah. my president. Yes. Yes. My president is for all of us. Yes. forever. But Wakanda forever. Wakanda yeah. yeah. forever. Top, watch, top. I'm seeing. Okay. So the <laughs> other two topics that are, that you know was not a lot of discussion, but um, Vern Troyer, Mini Me, and Austin Powers. He, he just, died. No. Yes, he did. Yes. Like, they had to, 49, yes, he was 49 years old. Right. And, um, I love that thing. Yeah. The, in, the initial stuff that I that we are hearing is that it's, it's possible that he had some depression and mm. some personal issues. Oh, I'm so hoping that, that that's suicide? there. It, it's, it's suggested that it may be suicide, but we'll see, you know, further oh, on. But I wanted to acknowledge that, you know, he was phenomenal in the. Uh, Austin Power movies, but he's been in, uh, you know, in movies for a very long time. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna go over his bio because it didn't pull it up, uh, but <laughs> just wanted to share that. And in other news, like I said before, a few podcasts back, I want to kind of deviate from the negative news or always harping on what 45 is doing because mm-hmm. there's so many other things we should talk about. Right. But most importantly, the overarching theme is rem- reminding folks to vote. Yeah, but well, so yeah. anyway, that's where that's where I'm going to try to focus November on. November 6th, vote. Unless you there's something that's in. yeah, unless there's something that's truly we need to No, I told you when he tells the truth. Come on. We, what, we'll see. What, what's that, that means we're not going to talk yeah, about exactly. it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You get my point? So uh so in, in local news, global uh, KLX Aerospace Solutions bring a new headquarters 
which could potentially have up to 400 more jobs in Miami-Dade Oh, County. that's what's up. That's that's good. Good. Um, more jobs. More yes. Um, more jobs. KLX or Aerospace Solutions, more jobs. Uh, yes. a global distributor of aerospace fasteners and consumables, announced it's expanding its Miami-Dade operations and building new global headquarters with a state-of-the-art distribution center. Mm. It adds new aviation sector jobs, subst- substantial capital investments to the area, and the decision to expand Miami-Dade retains almost 600 existing jobs, creates wow. more than 100 jobs in the first year of growth and up to 400 new jobs in the future. And this is a good thing. It is. You know, uh, the cost of living in Miami is atrocious. Disrespectful. And I believe that these are going <laughs> to I believe these are going to be good higher paying jobs. So, you oh, yeah. know, I really see some things that's building and growing Miami is in the, popping. Yeah. In South Florida in general, and so I will try to focus on those type of things because we need to hear it. Oh yeah. Uh we're ask I'm also I'm personally asking our listeners if you have local good news to share and would like us to talk about that or at least acknowledge it, feel free to con- connect with us via email. It's uh girl what m M&M at gmail.com or you can reach out to us on social media that is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram all that girl what, or you can hit us up individually, Makita, McClune, I think I'm like that on everywhere, all the outlets. Melshin, Melshin, Mrs. Mrs. Melshin. I think I'm Makita's fab on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Uh, So just, you know, if if there's good news and things that we should be uh, sharing, we want to do a combination of things and it's, we're going to, it's, we're asking for your help and uh, pinpointing things that we're not talking about that's happening locally. If it's your, your, your kid doing well in school, we want to talk about that. It's prom time it's, right it's now. It's prom time oh, right no, now. No, no, no. And it's just, again, it's so many good things we need to be talking oh, about. Yeah. Um, and post them on our page. And post them on our page. Yeah. So, you know, again, let's get into the topic at hand. I am so excited. I'm feeling myself. That, I'm feeling myself. Yes. 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 What we're on. That's today. been the theme. That that was, you know. Oh boy. Snaps yeah. to you, yeah. Melanie. Yeah. You just be listen, this she works so hard. Mm-hmm. I want to acknowledge her today. She yes. got good taste. You know, the, the, I you know, somehow the connection with the right theme and subject. It takes me a little bit, but yeah, but you do it so God well. God sends it my way, and then, you know. And there we go. And so that was coming now. I'm a saint, but I, I wasn't still able love to my post music. it myself, but I tried to share and do what I can. And so I'm feeling myself. Can you explain? And yes, what? I am God fearing, and I love the Lord, but I do <laughs> love, I love music. Yes. So yes. I figure out a way, you know. Of course, of course. We don't own the rights to any of the music that we post. Nope. But. But as a follower, I'm feeling myself. Yes, ah, so we're feeling I'm ourselves. Good. So, um, basically what I will say for myself is that I have been following and have been friends with these two phenomenal women for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those things that energy, you know, draws energy just draws. It's just, Mm -hmm. it is what it is. Mm -hmm. And a wonderful day last spring, uh, formally connected me and one of these ladies into our illustrious sisterhood, yes. Alpha, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Yes. And yes. so now she's my line sister, and I have been dying to get her <laughs> and her sister, who I love, mm-hmm. to pieces on this show. Why? Because I love their personalities, but more importantly, they do a balance. They do their they're they're you know building their media and brand empire. They're plus size, beautiful uh, women of color, and they are also serving other purposes. And so, I wanted to get you guys on this show. So, welcome the first to the time show. we can. So, welcome. The Wonder Twins. The Wonder Twins. The Wonder Twins are in the building. We are in the building, and we are loving the love. The Eminem beauty fabulous it is just amazing (laughs) right like like yeah like you want to adopt an adult (laughs) it is so posh beautiful but more important is girl peace there's a spirit of peace and love that resonates in here and it's so welcoming and thank you 
Welcome to, welcome to the girl cave. Welcome, welcome. The girl cave, it goes down. It, it goes, goes down. down in the girl cave. No dudes allowed in this building. I love <laughs> that girl cave. Yeah. This right here is giving me nothing but life. CPR, all that. Post <laughs> respiration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's a pampered heaven. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. you know, basically, share with our listeners, you know, what, who are the Wonder Twins? And what are your purposes? Wow, that that is now we that is so multi layered. I know, but in essence, we are a twin conglomerate. We are dominating South Florida through brand empowerment, through beauty, um, women's health issues, fashion, um, being radio personalities, TV personalities. But even at the core of that, looking at psycho spiritual models to, to build inclusive communities, inclusive families. We don't believe that um, if you. If you're multi-talented, you have more than one gift, we don't believe you have to sit on one gift. Mm-hmm. If you are blessed with five different things, find time how to balance mm-hmm. all five of those mm-hmm. things, all five of those lanes, and be great in each lane at each time or season of your life. And so with the Wonder Twins, it started out with me being a well sought after plus size model. And then once my sister became infected with systemic scleroderma and found that she had autoimmune disease, our platform started, we literally, it went down like this. We had some big wigs from out of L.A. and Chicago pitching for us to start a reality series. We didn't really, we don't really tell so many people about this story. So we were being um, piloted as the next young, kind of like Ayanna Vazant type, mm-hmm. with a little twist down for Latinas, be able to connect with women because, like you said, the spirit attracts spirit. Mm-hmm. We, we believe in womb therapy. We believe in walking with women in their brokenness and getting them to a place of healing and wholeness. And so with that, two weeks after we've had, we were, you know, FaceTime, we Skype chapping and um, Skyping and, and having these big power moves. We're getting ready to get the cameras to start falling. She gets on this beautiful cannula here. So they told us, hey, she may be in oxygen for six months. So they put a plug because as they're testing to see how we're going to um, do for the pilot, a lot of people are, we don't know if people are going to receive the oxygen. So we're thinking, okay, six months, I come home, okay, she your oxygen is now going on two years. And so we said, you know what? When people see her, because she's beautiful, mm-hmm. she's young, people try to figure out if she died, she got cancer. People will either look at her, either people either embrace her, ask questions, and they try to figure out, I'm not trying to stare, I'm not trying to be mean, or rude what's going on. You, at least people ask, and then you got other people be like, ooh, like, mm-hmm. ooh, don't touch me. Yeah, okay. And so in there, I had to empower her. I said, you are beautiful, and own it. People ask you about it. Empower them about autoimmune disease. Mm-hmm. Don't let that negative energy don't let the ignorance of people make you become a hermit. Because one thing I know about people who deal with issues that affect them, That's if true. they internalize that, they die in, 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 in isolation. Mm-hmm. And I said, you got life in you. We, we have a passion and a mission. God gave us a promise. We still got work to do. Mm-hmm. And so this testimony is going to show God on a grander scale that God is still a healer That's today right. as he was 2,000 years ago. And so the beauty piece, Helping women and other persons who are going through cancer, who are going through other debilitating diseases, yeah. an amputee, those women who have dealt with mastectomies, and so forth, let them know, embrace mm. the change. You're still beautiful. That's right. Despite your body had to mm. be shifted after your original state. And so that's typically how the One of Twins Power Movement catapulted, and me giving her a mommy makeover glass session, and I said, God gave me, like, you know, because even though I am an uh, influencer, I still serve my, my church. I'm, I'm just like you. Mm-hmm. I'm a fly, young, say Christian woman. And God gave me this image of a semi new photo shoot. I'm like, Lord, you know, the saints going to drag me to the ground with this. But I, hear, I see what you're saying. And I believe in the power of embracing your femininity, mm-hmm. your curves. And I've been a curvy girl all my life. And so I told her the vision. You're going to wear this. Don't stare. Just pray. Mm-hmm. And she was frustrated one day. And she said that saying, that saying was coming up to me. When I tell you that picture went viral. It led us to Capitol Hill to lobby on Sclerodermal Sus- Awareness Day. Wow, that's and fantastic. And we, we went before Congress, House of Representatives, in our state, so Congress nice. women and men, that's talking nice. about senators, systemic scleroderma, and her voice was heard on a grander scale, standing beyond South Florida. And so that's how the Wonder Twins continue to make ways. And we, our, our passion is young women. Take agency over your body. That's right. Fight for your health. These doctors will tell you anything because we know pharmaceutical companies, they're the money-making giants of the world. 
So the whole thing is to pump you with medicine and keep you sick. Yeah. Okay. That's one part of it. As I was saying earlier, I am a previous educator. I am also a registered mental health um, counseling clinician. However, um, my licensing, I've kind of put that on the back burner because last year I was in my hospital nine months out of 12. So I'm trying to, thus, thank God thus far, I have some sense of stability. And uh, my supervisor, she gave birth, so it kind of worked out. So I'll be getting back to it. But that's just one component of our brand. Our brand is so big, and it goes back to voter empowerment. Oh, yeah. So this year, um, I decided I wanted to take more of an uh, action in terms of our walk. Because we do the 5K walk, um, walk for a cure for, for scleroderma. Because there is no cure, and the few modalities of treatments are very toxic. We have um, bladder cancer, you have lymphoma, you have sterilization, you have all sorts of different cancers um, that are linked to the medication, just the treatment. And I've gone through all the treatment. I had allergic to allergic reaction to the chemo, and you hear I get winded. That's Take your time. I'm on the oxygen, and um, so I said this year I wanted to take it to another level. We're always talking about sewing back into our community. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's have a black business expo, but we must have a voters registration drive. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to have our local HBCU, which is our Florida Mario. being there because one, we need to enroll more kids in school. Yeah. We need yeah, to sure. tell them like, I know, I don't know if you all are byproducts of HBCUs, but it's just something about that undergraduate experiences mm-hmm. that really gets us grounded and really nurtures um, who we are. Who we are. Mm-hmm. in terms of our identity and then number two the parking in Florida sparked this idea because we used to do voters registration with NAACP when we were um, presidents at our own times and college mm-hmm. was that these kids went and took I think 4,500 uh, petitions to Washington and they're saying that they're registering their peers so when they turn 18 they're going to vote your blanks out of office. Out yeah. of office. So this, this has been a paradigm shift right. for right. the positive. So now young, more young people are more interested in voting. So I've been saying, parents, bring your kids if they have a voter ID, a restricted, or in the license. Let's pre-register them to of vote. Course. And right next to them, I plan to have a photo memorial. Oh. So while they're signing up, come, let me talk to you about this school institution. That's what's up. And Absolutely. That's what we want to that's do. That's amazing. Yeah. And by the way, you know, in Florida... You can be 16 and yes. register to vote. You can't yeah. vote until you're 18, 18, but you can register at 16. Just want to throw that out there. And that's why we're doing that. I think mm-hmm. in 2020. Yeah, uh-huh. exactly. 2020. Um, exactly. Uh, Papa, I wish I would have known because I would have had the attorney state general at our walk because I've been calling I've been calling all the, the politicians out locally. locally. Mm-hmm. Come on out. Yeah, I don't have to pay. The constituents need to see you. They need to know that they matter. And they need to put a name to a face. A face. Oh, yeah. Because on the balance, yeah. you, you know, you have checked it, but you like, I don't know. Is that last name Jackson? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So right. when you do that, like, exactly. and you interact with the people, they don't realize the power of um, the touch, the human modeling. touch. Yeah. Human touch. And I'm just gonna... speaking, mm-hmm. giving them a five minute blurb mm-hmm. on what is it you want to provide to the community or mm-hmm. what you can take from the community and, can, and add. To your platform, because um, there's a um, a politician out in Leon County. His thing is disability, and Alan Ellison. Mm-hmm. You heard of Alan Ellison? I think so. Yes. Um. Mm-hmm. So like so people like Florida. that. Okay. Yes, yeah, Leon County. But we need people to help the marginalized because of the new the new legislation for 45 and cutting the Medicare and oh, Medicaid yeah. and food stamps. It affects. Everybody, people, and, yeah. like me, and able-bodied persons, but they may have a psychological um, yeah. impediment, which voc rehab, which I used to be a counselor there, cheap plug, <laughs> vocational rehabilitation. They do a lot for the community, whether you have a mental or physical debilitating um, disease. So our brand is layered. Yeah. And we try to, at least, I can say the most important part of our brand is transparency. Because on my page is in this dish. Like you go through the ebb and flow of my depression, my anxiety, my treatment, and then maybe my mania. I'm feeling good, and you know my meditations, and I'm very transparent. Yeah, absolutely. I see <laughs> it. I follow you, and so I, I, you know, like I feel it. You know, you, you guys are have presented yourselves not only in 
uh, in regards to scleroderma and fighting to bring more attention to that, but also your transparency and being single, fabulous women. Oh, like yes. I see that evolution and I am also very mm-hmm. much in that same boat. Girl, I'm not today. I need to clean and charge it. I'm telling you. No I'm being yeah. intentional. Yes. Like, I'm a school man now. <laughs> yeah. My auntie said, men age, just said men age what? <laughs> Middle <laughs> age. <laughs> She's like, well, the average lifespan is 70. I said, okay, again, I'm not middle age. No. no. Middle age is 50. Mm-hmm. And we're not there yet. No, we've got a long <laughs> way. Got a long way. Okay. Um, I'll right. that all my life. <clears throat> so, <laughs> if you um had to say one thing to the listeners, being that your your platform is and your brand is multifaceted, mm-hmm. if you were speaking to a woman um, who is very depressed and um, is gonna is feels like they want to give up, but with in one I'll say two sentences. What would you say to her? Two wow. sentences. The missing element is the why. It's the why she's feeling that way. And so when I'm, and before I get into the two sentences, when I impart in someone, when they unpack and they unlayer those onions, then I can speak directly to that spirit. I can speak mm-hmm. directly to that issue mm-hmm. that why she may feels like she's not enough and I will let her know she is more than enough. She's deliciously worthy. And then I will encourage her to go back to the first time someone told her that she wasn't mm-hmm. and talk to her younger self and release her younger self and say, mm-hmm. look, I am beautiful. I am whole. I am worthy. And I am all that. Mm-hmm. And, and I will walk through them through that stuff. Each layer of the journey, because in each age, whether she's three 5, 13, 16, or even mm-hmm. 60 years old, you have to do the unraveling. Mm-hmm. Because you can't start from there if you don't go to the core, to the genesis of where it started. Because you have to uproot it. And so the uprooting begins in that conversation. Mm-hmm. Well, it's funny you say that. I feel that often. Mm-hmm. Coming from a chronic illness, coming from a chronic pain, um, I feel that. And for me, I say, what is your why? Mm-hmm. Why? Right. What makes you continue to fight? Mm-hmm. So, my kids at one point was my why. Now, my main why is love. I, I call myself love a strange child because I'm a lover. I'm such a nurturer. Mm-hmm. So, that is what keeps me um, here and saying, God, you promised me my life of glory. You told me my life was going to look like this. And because I'm so nosy. I kind of want to see what's going on <laughs> like that, but it's hard. And we have to be realistic because I take antidepressants. I take anti-anxiety medication. And I had to come to a point because I'm anti-medication, especially from a therapeutic. I love to do talk therapy. But when you're on prednisone and you're on these medications that alter your mood, mm-hmm. you have to be realistic. And I think in um, our communities, we try to debunk a lot of the stigmas that mm-hmm. come with mental health Mm -hmm. and mental illness mental health would be prevention um mental illness is acknowledging that we do have brain disease it's just like treating diabetes right hiv hypertension depending on obesity child but you could be obese and be in great health like i I know but but still you know um, bipolar disorder Mm -hmm. does bipolar one bipolar two bipolar one you need some medication mm-hmm. because your mania could be like life threatening yeah. to yourself. Yeah. You could have homicidal ideations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, I would tell that woman, "What's your why?" I will work on the why. We'll work on the strengths. Mm-hmm. Um, we will not look at nothing negative. You can't tell me nothing negative. Coming from a strengths perspective, once we get that and get her empowered, there's a tricky part now. If she's suicidal, and we build her up and her energy. She's more likely to commit suicide. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you kind of want to do like Because she didn't address her, her, her issues. Exactly. She didn't exactly. unpack what was going on. Exactly. So you have to be careful. Mm-hmm. So that's why every clinician is not for everybody. That's true. And it's like with a doctor. Like it took mm-hmm. them two years to diagnose me. I tell people, shop around so you find someone who listens yeah. to you. Because wow. a lot of them just push pills. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And they don't do talk therapy. Right. Some people just need somebody to talk to because they don't have one. Wow. Mm-hmm. And that's where we come in. So 
I am the spiritual person. I am uh, my master's divinity in psychology, religion, pastor care counseling. So my thing is women's ethics. So I'm looking at women's issues mm-hmm. um, for those in their interfaith because that does all come from a Christian context mm-hmm. because at the end of the day, whether you are a Jewish woman, you are a Christian woman, or even you are atheist, you go to somewhere to help you make life a meaning interpretation right. of what's going on in yourself outside of yourself. And so I connect the spiritual component even with traditional uh, psychological foundations. But I'm talking to your spirit mm-hmm. in addition to what's going on emotionally. Mm-hmm. And Demetria comes more from the mental health perspective. Mm-hmm. And so we're really getting back into that because as more we talk, more we're out. I'm still in the fashion world and the radio right. world. But mm-hmm. right now, there is a call. I hear the call of the women. Yeah. After, and after, girls. After, listen, mm-hmm. yeah, after these forums, and I'm thinking, oh, you cheat. Girl, they bum rush me. And I'm like, what? And yeah. they're like, can you mentor me? I'm like, look, I would love to mentor you because we, we're big on mentorship. But the way my schedule is set up, I said, we're going to re- we're gonna find a way that we can do a greater spectrum mm-hmm. of mentorship because we get as mentor like yeah, my all mentee's gonna, time. My mentee's going to be a little off. Oh, nice. oh, yeah. She was nine. I was, I've was i been a big since 2004 while at Florida Memorial University. And um, I made mentoring our community service for Big Brothers and Big Sisters. Awesome. And mm-hmm. then I transitioned over to the, the, um, the, I can't give you the her name, I can't remember it because I, my memory gets jarred. But I had her since she was nine years old. And I partially taught her at Orchard Villa um, when she was in the fourth grade. And now she's 21. Mm-hmm. Wow. So yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's 21. She was my baby. And I, I mean, <laughs> I, I really feel like that's probably, we need to take it back because I remember a, a point. In time where Big Brother's Big Sister was big. Yeah, yeah they, they yeah. short a thousand. Yes. They need a thousand. Yeah, we need to bring that back. And then they still have it. And my friend, um, um, Cece, who honored us, she started a mentor program. But see, but the thing about Big Brothers, they do a very exhaustive background check. Yes, they do. They do not put, they're worse than day schools, any schools like, because of people dealing with your children. And I think that is good because yeah, these is. sex offenders, of you, course. You, yeah. Yeah. Um, they, it's issues. like yeah. they literally come check your house if you're a gun owner. They want to know everything, everything. even even as far as being intrusive as your sexual orientation. Mm-hmm. Like it's very intrusive. Like my interview process was three hours. Yeah, that's good. And yeah. then they came to the house and they did an assessment of the house to make sure. Like they don't play. Yeah. But the thing is, the mentors are not coming out, especially black men. Yeah. And we absolutely. need black male mentors. Period. Period. Mm-hmm. Because these young men need that modeling. Mm-hmm. Which, um, is on on, which is on the ballot. Which is on the ballot. I'm restoration of rights yep. passages. And even with the Wonder Twins brand, like giving women a sense of womanhood. You know, once we stop the Sweet 16 and the King said, yeah, because we're Afro, Afro Latina with Caribbean descent, um, we need to know how to transition in life. Mm-hmm. That's why we have a lot of folks who are adults in age and they stuck in their child state because they weren't properly moved mm-hmm. yeah. to adult womanhood into manhood. So we need manhood training and we need womanhood, womanhood training. training. Absolutely. We really need that. That's why we are, we're in the works of coming up with a group called Good Men Have Scars Too. Mm-hmm. I saw that um, meme and it, it resonated so much oh, so because yes. there's so many good men mm-hmm. who need healing. Mm-hmm. Sure. They've been with the wrong women that mm-hmm. castrated them, demasculate them, and then when they meet us, because we're so independent and we don't ask for nothing, they take it as a wrong thing. I'm like, no, baby, I'm a what king or dynasty builder. I'm not your, your enemy. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I'm your yeah, ally. Sure. And yeah. you kind of get like railroaded right. because of what they went, went through. through. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. well, I'm low maintenance. Just give me your attention. And That's like, it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, like I, I'm a caterer. I'm like a Latin mom. Like I cook king, even hands cramped up. I cater to men, but I said, you know what? They don't appreciate that. They don't. So now I mean, I'm some them don't. Yes. Good. Good. Because men like the itches word. You know that book? I read it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They yeah. Do. It's changing though. Yeah, I think it's, it's changing. Oh, it's coming back. No, to I don't know. Values. I think it's only starting to move away. It's starting, yeah. but, it's but, starting but, to change. But it gets tired of that. It's starting to change. They yeah. are. Slowly, slowly, slowly but surely. Yeah. Well, Demi's single. <laughs> and ready to mingle. Yes. Yeah. We have yeah. Demi. We have Davika. We have exactly. Makita. Yeah. They're single. Oxygen, Great women. Yes. Oxygen coffee. Yes. But can you look sexy? They get mad because I'm like, I refuse to settle. I'm a divorcee. And so I know what it is. Like, I've been the power woman. Look, be whole in your singleness. Mm. Like, we 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 mm. rob ourselves of our today, the beauty of being single, because we're so busy trying to be married and mm. boot up. And then when you get married, you're like, oh, my God, like, you have to deal with your stuff. Mm. Because your marriage will make you meet you. Listen, you yes, want ma'am. All the stuff you want to hide and don't want to tend to, your marriage will pull it all mm. out. 
And so you you don't want to be a disservice. You want to get to know yourself hard. before. Mm-hmm. Marriage yeah. is hard as it is, but it's worth it. And God honors marriage. So even if you do got broken stuff, the key word I say in order to make a marriage work, to be 73 years, is being intentional. That's right. And how you handle your, your mate and yourself. Mm-hmm. How you honor. If you don't love you, you're not going to mm-hmm. love your mate. That's true. You may love the things that you make it provide for you or how they can make you feel, but you're not going to love them for flaws and all. That's how you get yes, unconditional ma'am. love. I can, I'm a so ladies, man. get holes in your That's singleness. That's right, bro. Men, Get holding your singleness. So when you meet your whole mate, babe, listen, you're going to have that 73 year yeah. marriage mm-hmm. and you will not be phased by the life stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's true. That's right. So where can they find y'all? Well, you can find me you at Dabby mm-hmm. Speaks underscore on Instagram. Oh, the okay. real one, the twins with a Z on Instagram. We do have a fan page on Facebook. The one, the twins again with the Z. And you can find me, Davika Williams. I'm at my max. But if you were a person of substance, I do delete the foolishness and I will add you. <laughs> Go ahead, give me plug your other social media. I was going to say Dabby everywhere. Um, <laughs> I am Zahara's Mo on Instagram. Let me spell it for y'all. It is Z A H A R A S M U M M-U-M <laughs> on Instagram. Um, Demi's Dish, D E M E apostrophe S. Dish is my page where you can follow my journey. Um, follow my shenanigans because I'm more the cur- quirky, edgy twin. And what am I? Save and fill the whole ghost. Hey, oh, for real. Are you not I'm at my five. five. I'm, yeah, I'm petty. Very I'm at petty. my 5,000 <laughs> max. But like she said, I got to get rid of some of the, um, the little gorillas on my page because I have so many people. I don't know, like. But yeah, Demi's Dish, I, I implore you to go to Demi's Dish because that page, you get to really feel me. My personal page, my guy daddy and everybody that's on there, I can't be me. But I'm really me on Demi's Dish. That's the most authentic space. Um, and you can pull stuff on my page. Take it. If, it, if it, it's therapeutic for you, if it causes something to, to stimulate you to write, to sing, to change, to read a book. You know, to dance in the rain. To dance in the rain. Definitely. Yes. That page is for that. Even as a horror's mom, I do a lot of those. To, to splurge during my information. Blah, blah, blah. But I'll also be looking. I don't thirst trap, but I'd be like, I'm trying to alert. <laughs> Harness <laughs> yeah. You feel me? God, don't judge me. When is the walk? <laughs> April 28th this Saturday from 8 a.m. to 12 noon. You can register. Guys, listen. 10% of the proceeds are going to go to a scleroderma research organization that we have partnered with in the past. Legalities, we won't disclose who it is, but then we will be giving a donation on the behalf of the Wonder Twins. The other portions will go towards the meet because listen, you guys know the healthcare in America is very expensive. Mm-hmm. Life with scleroderma is just like cancer. It's very costly. And so we definitely want to help Demetria. Um, a single mother of two and be able even just to keep more medical equipment and to sustain that is very expensive. Even with that, um, we're going to have a party. We're celebrating life. And we are empowering other disabled mm. communities to come out and let's live life more abundantly. We're going to celebrate until our healing mm. manifests. We're going to speak and we're going to power it. And that's the whole point. And you forgot the other part, too. We yes. also want to raise our money so that we can finally get to a place where we can provide services. Yeah. Through our 501c3 nonprofit organization, um, you know, to get the money, to get the legalities of that. So we want to have a, a storefront. I mean, all the space, all the space. Your, what's your oh yeah, Melody. She will be coming. Yeah, be, yes. I'm, I'm Shake so the that. core. Yes. <laughs> Shake the core. We'll be putting that fabulous touch, of course, with your girl Daphne Speaks, because you know we are definitely fashionistas here. And so because fashion that, is fashion goes beyond the closet. It sure does. But I need walkers, y'all. Like, look, I got more vendors than walkers registered. Okay, That's what I'm saying. And if you have a full vendor truck, we see, need you. Um, yes, and especially brown, black. We really believe in supporting our community. Um, we pull the permits, and Miami Gardens allows food trucks. Most cities and municipalities no. don't, okay? Our city does. And again, come to party. We have so many events. Look, I'm eclectic. I have published authors there with their product. We're launching new product. Yeah. I'm launching my product that day. We have our, our new lippy. Tim lippy. Yep, for the Lippy. Yeah, the Beauty Lash. Um, we have our so much more power cup and our bags and our clutches. All hand designed, handcrafted by Purple Label Black Designers. They're international designers. So handcrafted. This, we don't believe nothing shanky or cheap. You're getting high quality stuff, okay? 
How about that? Yeah, and I'm like I said, I'm dropping my thing. And the first fifty handcrafted walker, if you're a tailgater or a vendor, I have a little something for you to to participate in the walk with um this Saturday. Sign sign up or vendors check in at seven thirty. But we want to start on time so we have enough time to party and eat and be merry. And there's black owned um, business owners who sell alcohol. So great, oh, great, yes. great. So, well, I don't want to cut us off because we have like ten seconds left. Really? Thank wow. you. So that I know it went it went by it so quickly. Thank you, that. thank you, thank you. Wonder Twin Scleroderma Walk next weekend. Uh, we're gonna end it as we usually end our shows, Melanie, with our oh, verse. I need to get this together. <laughs> I'm like so into what's the conversation. I'm like, y'all done inspire me even more. Okay, here we go. Colossians 116, all things have been created through him and for him. And And you have been listening to Girl. Girl, what?